Uh, Alida graduated with a BA in psychology from Romania, for which she conducted research to assess the impact of therapeutic art on the emotional well-being and enhanced communication skills of deaf children living in residential care. Uh, Alina is currently studying an MA in art therapy at Cork in Ireland. And Alina is going to talk to us about uh, the renewal process of spiritual emergency as a crisis of individuation, navigation through art and integration through art therapy. Over to you, Alina. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm just going to share my presentation. Just one second, sorry. Um, I'm going to be starting with a quotation. Um, Art holds out the promise of inner wholeness by Ellen de Button. Um, spiritual development is a transformational journey um, towards wholeness and discovery of one's true potential, and it is available to all human beings. The process is called spiritual emergence and can become a psycho-spiritual crisis called spiritual emergency, term defined by Groff, um, Christina Groff and Stanislav Groff in uh, 1992. When the inner changes um, are so rapid and overwhelming that the person finds it difficult to remain present and function in everyday reality. During a spiritual emergency, individual experience a flood of unconscious uh, material into the consciousness, which can have numinous or divine qualities, as well as aspects of trauma that has not yet been integrated. And this opening is prone to happen when the psychological defenses are weakened from intense stress, sleep deprivation, exhaustion, physical trauma, etc. Um, psychological traumas, particularly when they have a nature that are reminiscent of earlier traumas, can also mobilize the unconscious to emerge into consciousness. Although spiritual emergency exists in the diagnosis Diagnostic sim uh, Symptoms Manual, DSM-5, a spiritual problem um, in a non-pathological category. There is a lack of awareness in the mental health profession around differentiating it from psychosis and is frequently misdiagnosed as such. This often leaves people experiencing these transformative stages in growth, being confused about the process, alone and frightened, because the cartography or the map of the psyche is based on biomedical terms, offering the framework of illness. With a, a map of the psyche that also includes deeper aspects of the psyche, like archetypes and the collective unconscious, spiritual emergency is seen as a developmental crisis, a natural process of reorganization of the psyche with positive potential for healing growth and personality transformation. The individuals navigating spiritual emergency are supported in their journey from a larger framework, framework of reference, that acknowledges the self-healing mechanisms and intelligent exi intelligence existent in the psyche. In, society that, um, in societies that understand the otherworldly dim dimensions, such as those uh, which are guided by the shamanic traditions, and of this, uh, Eliad is speaking of, uh, Campbell, Jung, Al Amman, etc. They view this process as a dismemberment in order to remember as a process of the birth of a healer in the society. It is a calling from the spirit world, not a sign of madness. Individuals undergoing this often terrifying disconnect with everyday reality are in this framework supported and their otherness respected as of social significance, a call to be a seer or a healer in the community. And this is fundamental to their society's health and integrity. The precipitation factor of such an awakening is often uh, a terrifying event or um, what can be called an illness as well, a physical illness. Um, psyche, soul or the self represents where once in, a, once in a world with the totality of all psychic processes, conscious as well as unconscious and contains the ego, the personal unconscious and collective unconscious. The, e the ego is what one presents and um, operates in the world with, is realistic, 
The pers personal unconscious consists of disturbing childhood experiences repressed in memory, and Jung recognized a transcultural component to consciousness and the symbolism used by the unconscious to, com to communicate with consciousness, which he named the collective unconscious. Jung was a Swiss um, psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who founded analytical psychology. The collective unconscious represents certain unconscious experiences which are universal and psychologically, uh, sorry, psychologically inherited to all human beings. Archetypes are universal patterns, primal images, inborn tendencies or models of, of people, behaviors or personalities that play a role in influencing human behavior, and they are innate to the collective unconscious. Jung defined 12 archetypes. For instance, the, the white old man or the wise old woman it's the wise aspect of our psyche who propels us into the quest for wholeness and knows what is needed and how to find it. Another, another example is the hero or heroine journey uh, archetype um, whose bravery and strength carry us through the thrones of the emergency, often helping us to fight for the recognition of the authentic authenticity and validity of our experience. The shadow is more accurately defined as which is hidden, suppressed, and is often revealed through projection of these aspects onto others, and it plays a large and important part in the emergency. This presentation is about the renewal process of spiritual emergency in a as a crisis of individuation, as both present a psychological death and rebirth, involve shadow work, which is healing trauma by exploring and healing the repressed aspect of the personality, as shadow is born out of trauma. Um, Alina? Yes? Sorry to interrupt. Um, the slides aren't moving in case you wanted to move them. Oh, okay. Um, no. Is it okay now? Yes, thank you. Um, would I just leave it like this, just in case it works? Um, okay. Thank you for that. Um, Sorry, just one second, I lost my track. Um, yeah, and rediscovering inner strengths. In this way, a spiritual emergency can be seen as a crisis of individuation when the transformation in the psyche is in such an overwhelming way that throws the inner world of a person in transpersonal realm, realms of the unconscious and it needs to be supported with the awareness of such natural process of the psyche in a framework of inner psychological growth that leads to integration. Individuation um, is a term coined by Carl Gustav Jung, which refers to psychological and spiritual growth, which um, within an arm, alchemical paradigm, where these are symbolic representations of an internal process. Individuation is the process of bringing the unconscious into consciousness by establishing a dialogue with the contents or figures or archetypes of the collective unconscious and integrate them into consciousness. It is the art of personal transformation and all human beings go through this process as it happens throughout our lives. As we individuate, we often go through several identity crises where we question who we are and what we want in life. Yeah. Individuations refer to the development of personality and is a process that leads to greater autonomy, self-awareness and maturity. It is not dependent on having uh, an experience of spiritual emergency and an experience of spiritual emergency, if not sufficiently supported, can also result in regression. So not allowing the individuation to occur. The renewal process represents a psychological death and rebirth and is a type of spiritual emergency that activates the deep psyche whose archetypal images flood the field of awareness in a certain mythic cast connected with human history. This process symbolizes a major step in the direction of individuation, the process which is um, the, the psyche's inner process uh, leading to a fuller expression of um, deeper potential um, and uh, self um, sorry self determination. Um, the renewal process activates. Um, I'm just sorry, just one second. 
the renewal process activates uh, when the stresses of the personality or of life are so pressing as to create a need for a new orientation. John Weir, uh, Weir Perry talks extensively about the renewal process in his book, Trials of the Visionary Mind, Spiritual Emergency and the Renewal Process. Um, facilitating navigation and integration of these deep unconscious aspects of the psyche during a spiritual emergency, particularly a renewal process, needs an experiential type of psychotherapy that has the depth of allowing the natural expression of the psyche through metaphorical, symbolic and poetic language and allow it, sorry, allow, allows its self-healing uh, energies to manifest. Our therapy is a type of experiential psychotherapy that involves the psyche and also the body, offering a safe container of these archetypal experiences to ground into form through art making and be processed through the exploration of the image. Art therapy can be an ex exceptional uh, mean of support and exploration in this process and only if the uh, therapist understands uh, the process of spiritual emergency and um, spiritual emergence. Jung is also called the grandfather of art therapy because of his major influence on the roots of art therapy. Dr. Lionel Colbert describes the analytical psychology of Jung as an emerging spiritual path. Jung also went through inner processes that could be called spiritual emergency, as the term was coined later by Groff, and he um, speaks of this in his red books, book uh, when he used ima uh, imaginary especially mandalas to help him express and uh, integrate his experiences. This presentation describes our therapy as a practical to explore the unconscious in order to further the process of individuation and is based um, and based on a research study by uh, Skov in 2013 that suggests that the art making process followed by a therapeutic exploration of the image leads to an improvement of the ego self relationship. Um, and um, my navigation through art and integration to art therapy. I present my process and my images as a personal integration of the stages of my journey of individuation at this time, acknowledging that this is a cycle in my journey and that individuation is a lifelong journey of cycles of growth. The onset of COVID mixed with powerful internal inner work in an online workshop made me remain stuck in exploring emotional overwhelming themes of my past, leading uh, to not being able to sleep for three days that brought a lot of anxiety and then a panic attack of fear of death and dying, followed by a spiritual emergency that I later identify as a renewal process. I felt that our therapy would be the way for me to explore my unconscious, like um, uh, unconscious life that I was being exposed to. This is the painting I made being inspired by the idea of undergoing individual art therapy and I noticed later the golden goblet that um, here is in the back of the person, so the, in the unconscious, but later on is in a different position in the image. This is a recurrent symbol in my art um, and the goblet symbolizes aspiration, goal, purpose and ideal. The st stages of individuation. The first one is confession or nigredo, that is also called blackening, and is a psychosymbolic death where one encounters the shadow of, or the pain or condition fears. As with the shamanic initiation mentioned previously, the dismemberment or symbolic death leading um, eventually to the remembering or reorganizing um, where the shadow uh, is embraced. I experienced this stage as an ego death where my old foundation of who I was didn't make sense anymore and I was in a despair mode. I painted my eyes covered as I felt I was experiencing the unseen aspects of myself or the unconscious that felt like disintegrating at the time but it was in order to integrate later. The only aspect of myself that I felt intact was my spiritual aspect in the way that I had an inner knowing that with um, that this is a part of the healing process and I'll be okay eventually. Um, in this painting, I represented myself as a mermaid where my feet were changed into a fishtail. So from being grounded to swimming into the waters of the unconscious, 
My mouth is covered, meaning I could not express at the time what I was really going through, as my emotions were so overwhelming. Later on, I realized the meaning of the feathers on the arms being of hope, of transformation from the underwater feelings to learning how to fly again in a more positive state of mind. Here, I was working with my inner critic as part of my shadow work. Here, I depicted how I saw the world during my spiritual emergency. It felt like one of James Hillsman's idea that our individual psyche, psyches are in the world psyche. I've learned to choose to focus back on myself and my self-care, making my room my safe place and my sanctuary, surrounding myself in a self-love cocoon with uh, things that I uh, like. Um, the second stage is called illumination or albedo and is also called whitening. We discover that there is a light side to every dark side. The positive seed, uh, this is a quotation, the positive seed of life within darkness is stronger than the whole darkness. Marie-Louise von Franz in The Feminine in Fairy Tales. This image presents um, a healing tra a traumatic memory of a childhood dream to our therapy. When I was around three years old, I had a nightmare about a scary character and that fear emerged in one of my spiritual emergencies. I worked with a dream in our therapy and up to that moment, actually, I wasn't sure that it was reality or a dream. Because when we are at that age, uh, children don't differentiate between reality and dreams. In the process of our therapy, I discovered that it was a dream. I did a small meditation and re-entered the dream and my art therapist asked me to bring in helpers who would protect me. I imagined Mother Mary and Archangel Michael and my guardian angel. In that moment, the scary character disappeared in the presence of Archangel Michael's word of divine protection. I healed the childhood fear and in a next spiritual emergency, that fear wasn't there anymore. In the same way, I worked with other traumatic memories in, my, in our therapy. And as I was integrating more of my negative conditioning from trauma, other spiritual emergency experiences, experiences became easier to handle. During Albedo, the anima, which is the feminine aspect in men, or the animus, the masculine aspect in women, also gets integrated and cultivated. I've learned to accept my two modes of perceiving reality during my spiritual emergency. I learned that most of my spiritual emergency perceptions were coming from my right hemisphere, the archaic mind, which is also the mind that children use more pre predominantly, which is re receptive, creative, feminine, um, that is thinking by, uh, sorry, thinking via image, symbol and metaphor. I was working on reaccessing my logic from my left hemisphere, no, uh, known as the more rational and masculine side, and it was a very helpful and grounding um, uh, moment. I expressed that through the symbol of the yin and yang in this image. The third stage of process is education or citrinitas, also called yellowing. When the person um, and it's happening when the person wakes up to the solar dawn of the emerging soul. It gives color and shapes to what was first a black and then a white world. The dawn of the soul can be compared with the rising sun, golden and radiant. As we came back to the everyday world with our feet firmly on the ground, with courage and wisdom together from integrating our shadow, knowing that we're able to bring our experiences to the world in ways that will not jeopardize our standing in, commu in the community. I experienced the rebirth of my trust in my soul and in my soul's journey. The wings on the hand symbolize the strength to overcome challenges. And I noticed that the wings here were on the hands and there were one hand rise up and more hands down, like the idea with uh, as above, so below, um, comparing to the wings before that were almost in the water and not being able to be used as wings in the other image. Um, I experienced this stage of individuation by finding my own inner guidance and compass in difficult situations away from the, the way I used to react out of fear and victim mentality into trusting the process of life, finding meaning in difficult situations, discovering the gift in the spiritual emergencies. From seeing them as traumatic events, I saw them as opportunity to re-experience emotions, mostly fears from past traumas, in order to heal them by choosing a different, more positive and empowering reaction to similar situations. This way, experiencing my own agency in my healing process. The archetype that I embrace here was the wounded healer. For the transformation or rubedo, that means reading or the red gold. 
leads to the realization of the self as a psychic reality greater than the ego, developing a co coherent sense of self before its re-entry into the world. We become ready to take our place as helpers, wisdom bearers, and finally knowing that we are capable of living with ordered life, containing and transmuting chaos, the place from which all growth emanates. Apparition uh, of quadrated circles means usually that the process is approaching su successful resolution. The entire experience become, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> The entire experience is a psychological transformation limited to the inner world and the person becomes ready to enter the everyday reality. That's from growth. Um, inner world, inner gold means our soul, the self and the innermost past, uh, part of our being. I experienced my unconscious bringing up this image for me after meditation and a week later, I found the same symbol called the quadrated circle in a research that stated that quadrature circle is representative of the center, the psyche's anchor as it journeys through the bizarre content of the unconscious and it becomes the focus of the mythic ideation and symbolism of the self's renewal process. It um, that research is by Albert Guy. I, I put it in the bio, uh, bibliography uh, later. Um, it validated that I was, uh, this image that appeared from my unconscious, validated that, that I was on the right track in my journey. Also, the synchronicity re renewed my feeling that there are higher forces at play in people's lives and maybe trust the process of life even more. The poem of John Dohonu helped me reconnect with my soul and I made a drawing around the first verse. May you recognize in your life the pa presence, power and light of your soul. The symbols used in alchemical writing and art to represent the rubedo stage can include also a phoenix or a rose, etc. This painting depicts the woman encountering the phoenix, representative of her soul or self. Her dress expands in roots, suggesting the new foundation that I found in this process, a stronger one than before the spiritual emergency. I painted here a woman holding her soul while being protected by the phoenix bird. It represents the rebirth stage of the phoenix symbolism of dying and rebirthing and the integration of the self in the psyche. In this painting, the woman is holding a golden goblet. Um, and it's not anymore in the unconscious as in the first painting. Um, she's holding it and representing, finding my inner gold, symbolizing my strength to return to myself that is stronger than my fears that kept me in the emergency mode and discovering that a certain, that a certain neurosensory exercise from somatic experiencing called um, Four Step Four of Overwhelm by Irene Lyons, which is available online, um, helped me return to my body from my spiritual emergency in the 20 minutes of listening to it. The spiritual emergencies felt like a hero journey and being able to return to myself felt like the stage when the hero finds the elixir. I associated this stage with the idea of finding the gifts in the shadow as the shadow is 90% gold. So accessing my intuition and the trust in myself. Um, alongside our therapy, I also had other resources helping me normalizing and integrating my spiritual emergency. Participating in the sp spiritual emergency research group and in the monthly peer support group organized by Spiritual Crisis Network, where I felt a belonging to a supportive community of people aware of spiritual emergency, followed by becoming a volunteer, supporting other experiences through emails, which offered me purpose and contributed with validating my experiences, seeing how similar they are, which supported me with further integrating my spiritual emergencies. Focusing on self-love, listening to positive affirmations on YouTube, I needed to hear the, those words, the positive words, um, reading guidance cards, reading positive books like The Power is Within You by Louise Hay, and allowing myself to rest. Trusting synchronicities and knowing when to discern and not find the meaning in all details of every experience. I found that physical exercise helped me ground into my body and also nature helped as well. Managing my hypersensitivity to people and the world. Learning energy protection in overwhelming environments. Imagining, surrounded, imagining myself surrounded by a protective bubble of light. Imagining the yellow lotus of the solar plexus closing its petals and also the crown chakra lotus closing above my head. 
imagining roots growing from my feet into the ground. Um, and then how the literature and personal experience inform my future practice of art therapy in spiritual emergency. Combining working with the psyche through image making and also engaging the body by body-based meditations. For example, um, the exercise with imagining the roots growing the, from the feet, breathing in golden light into the body, belly breathing, etc. Offering hope to clients that the process of spiritual emergency is a process of self-healing and there is more after the, dif the difficulties of the present moment. Encouraging connection with the spiritual emergency community. Encouraging them not to share too much with family members while in a vulnerable place as they might influence the process if they are judgmental. But still keep a basic conversation, conversational connection to reassure them that the person experiencing is okay. And that only in some situations, if the, the family might not know about spiritual emergency. Um, encouraging sleep, eating meat if vegetarian, for grounding connect, and uh, connecting to nature. Encouraging them to connect to higher power in a grounding way, through art making or prayer, or to a deeper aspect of themselves like their soul. There is also a need there is also a need to shift to the Jungian paradigm as it becomes more and more apparent that the end of the individual, it's no longer serving us. And we must return to the concept of our predecessors, that of Ubuntu, that means I am because we are, where we acknowledge our independent, interdependence and responsibility to ourselves and to our community. Um, While archaic terms are used for what Jung described as the alchemical process of individuation, it is a process recognized throughout the world as one of psycho-spiritual growth, often precipitated by existential agony um, and um, that, are that it is an experience known through all humanity. We, all, we have all undergone these precious processes and it is thanks to our organization spiritual crisis network that we can share our stories and help each other in uh, and through this sometimes painful process of growth um thank you for your time and attention and it's been a, an honor to present today thank you <laughs>